Hey everyone, welcome to DK TV. I'm Wade McWayne, your DK Sports Ambassador. It's CFL time. Are you enjoying the CFL? Oh my gosh, DK and the CFL is such a perfect marriage. Uh, actually wonderful last week, week four. Did we watch some of the games? BC continues to roll along. They're undefeated, aside from that one tie that they got. Uh, how about Trevor Harris? Oh my gosh, torched the former Argos team that he was on. 28 for 31 for 392 yards. That's just insane stats. Insane Ottawa is just running around. Could he be the best quarterback in the CFL right now? Not sure. Uh, another quarterback who had a problem, Darian Durant, Saskatchewan. I don't know if you saw ankle injury, got knocked out. But then this Mitchell Gale, this young wonder kid, steps in and plays really well. Can he turn Saskatchewan season around? BC Lions continue to bite into the West. They're growing so well. And, of course, Hamilton, Toronto continuing to struggle. What's going to happen with your offense? What are you guys doing? All right, so now it's week five. I do my picks in week five. DraftKings. You ever play DraftKings in the CFL? You should. Seven players, 50 grand. Put together your own team. You could win big playing the CFL. Loads of contests this week. Let's look at some of the games. We've got Calgary versus Winnipeg. Is someone going to make the Willie stand up? Yes, I'm talking Drew Willie. Uh, what's happening with him? He sort of seems to be inconsistent. Winnipeg needs to turn their fortunes around. Calgary needs to get a few wins together. Then you've got Ottawa versus Saskatchewan. Ooh, really hard one because Ottawa is flying and Saskatchewan is really not flying at all. They're actually just on the ground. So are they able to turn around this week against this high-flying Ottawa who continues to grow faster? Hamilton versus Edmonton, uh, another grinding game that'll be. This will be a very interesting defensive matchup and a big QB slugfest. And of course, Montreal versus Toronto. Two different cities, one exotic and classy, the other one, bankers by a lake. Okay, so let's go into our picks this week. Who do you pick? Uh, you're gonna look at all the picks you're gonna have for DraftKings, start with a quarterback. Who's my quarterback? Well, we're going to start right in the hammer. Jeremiah Masoli, 8,400. I like him in this matchup against Edmonton. What I really like about him is, is he is like one of the highest ranked quarterbacks, but he's also very valued on DraftKings. 8,400 is pretty cheap. When you look at some of the other quarterbacks going around, you want to save some money on this. What I like about him is he's fourth in passing yards, but he's very affordable. And I think he's going to rip up Edmonton, just like White Avenue rips it up on a Saturday night. And if you've been to White Avenue in Edmonton, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Jeremiah Masoli, you're on my list. You're my quarterback. Do well for me. Mwah. Okay, now we get into running backs. This is a running back again, value. I don't understand why this guy, he's the number one running back in the game. I'm talking C.J. Gable. Uh, he's got the most yards, but if you actually look at him with like 1,187 yards, um, he's actually not as high value as some of the other running backs. I think he's, he's, he's in confidence as he's growing in this, and he's also a real grinder. I think this game against Edmonton is going to be a grinding game. C.J. Gable, also from Hamilton, mwah, on the list. Now we get in wide receivers. Wade, who do you choose on wide receivers? Well, you should go for names and Canadians. That's why I choose Rob Bag. That's right, Rob Bag from Saskatchewan. 5,300, it's a very Canadian name. Almost as Canadian as Gordy McGorderton from Gordville. That's a very Canadian name. Uh, what I like about this guy, he's a big man, he's a veteran. And now with Mitchell Gale, he's going to be looking to veterans to step up. I think that they're really going to need the veterans to step up in this game. Rob Bag at 5,300. He's low value, but he plays really well. And he's also Canadian. Rob Bag, I've chosen you before. You're on my list. Okay, the next one, a guy I've chosen before. Hey, we're talking the big hands of Toronto. It's Vidal Hazelton. Now, anytime Toronto and Montreal face each other, it's like a weird old divorced couple that meet at their kid's wedding. It's like there's always this animosity. You're worrying about the tension. You're also wondering, like, who do they bring? What are they wearing? Uh, but this guy is going to step up in this game. Vidal Hazelton is one of those guys who's always going to find the end zone. I think with Chris Williams taking all the headlines, people forget Vidal Hazelton at 7,300. When they're playing Montreal, and Montreal's defense has not been that good. So I really think Vidal Hazelton can put up some points here for 7,300. He's probably in about the right range. Okay, my next flex position, Brad Sinopoli. Here's the thing about Ottawa. Um, you need to check Ottawa's immune system because they catch everything. Uh, Brad Sinopoli, they, they spread it around. If you look at the way that Trevor Harris is throwing the ball around, he's throwing it around to everyone because people are gonna double coverage on Chris Williams, but you forget about the big Brad, the big B-Rad, the Sinopoli. Tra I, I just really like him. I think for 7,400, his value is growing. He's gonna get a lot of points. I don't think Saskatchewan's going to be able to handle it this week. All right, my next flex position. Come on. How do you not choose Chris Williams? Look at him. Chris Williams. How do you not choose him? Um, this guy, Canadians, we're not used to celebrating greatness. I mean, we rather support or celebrate a bronze medal than a gold medal. It's just the way Canadians are. We're kind of humble. But this guy is a gold medal. Uh, he is 
34.2 fantasy points per game. Insanity. How do you not choose him? He's 11,200, so you've got to move your budget around. Now, he didn't get as many points as you thought last week. I think he only got like 13 and a half points. But this week, he's probably going to turn it around because I don't know if Saskatchewan is going to be able to cover the big man. Now, we're looking at the defense. Last picture in the puzzle. Who do I choose on D? It's the Red Blacks. That's right. I went pretty heavy on Ottawa this week. 4,600. Now, I know Ottawa is known for their O, but this week I think it'll be known for their D. They're going to be looking to shut down Mitchell and the Saskatchewan offense. I think Saskatchewan, with a young rookie quarterback coming in, trying to change the system up, I think they're going to really struggle against a high-flying Ottawa team. So let me recap my picks. Jeremiah Masoli from Hamilton. C.J. Gable from Hamilton. Rob Bag, Saskatchewan. Vidal Hazelton from Toronto, Brad Sinopoli from Ottawa, Chris Williams, of course, from Ottawa, and I went with the Red Blacks. That's right, I went heavy on Ottawa. Ottawa, I really want you to, to do well. How do you get involved? You go to DraftKings, put together your own seven-man lineup, $50,000 budget. You could win big in the CFL, especially with some of the contests we've got going on. $18,000 Rouge tournament, uh, 18000 in prize, 1000 the top prize, $15,000 playmaker, 15,000 on prizes, 2,000 the top prize. You can watch the CFL anywhere in the world. You can watch it in Canada, America, and the UK. It's a great fit. Almost as good a fit as a suit from Moore's The Suit People. Oh, did I just throw that in there? Oh, come on. DK and the CFL, welcome to the big time.